what is going on guys voices here we're using the photoshop tutorial to make your own action presets uh, if you don't know what actions are photoshop basically what they are are basically in program recording uh, it's all the way down to the t so anything you do in this little document right here let's say you make a new layer you fix the adjustment layer or you know click and add an adjustment layer or fix the blending mode fix the opacity fill anything you do into adding shapes filling them with color it'll record it and when you play it back it'll do the same exact thing uh, so I have two examples here. Basically, they all go together. Uh, for me, I like to use these as my YouTube backing uh, or you know social media backings uh, presets. Like, let's say if I want to have a, a certain pattern done, I can name it like you know Gaussian blur pattern or uh, noise pattern or whatever backing. I can have that done. I just simply just click here, press play on this action that I did. It'll do what I did previously, and that will want to group. If I just drop down the group really quick, you can see what I did. All that will be just played in a quick succession, basically like a robot taking over and doing it for you. And then you can see right here when I press play and add this new little layer right here. And I have this cool, sweet, easy, simple, nice, clean uh, Gaussian you know, blur noise backing. And you can just do things like this uh, all the way up to making mock-ups, making you know, cool 3D things. That's just getting really, really deep inside you know, actions itself. Uh, way more than that. You can also use plugins with actions, etc. It will all take that knowledge and just keep on doing it and repeat it the same exact way every single time, the way you record it. Uh, you can also fix things. You can also just delete things. Let's say if you, you're done with your action or whatever and you, you, you messed up or somewhere. You can delete things. Just drag one action part, delete it. You can re-record it by pressing play and like in between things, just fix it, pause it you know, or stop it and it'll fix itself, you know, etc. It's really, really, really simple. Uh, if you ever want to change the color, I believe you just click on the fill color. Let's see if you had a, a cool fill color. Uh, you can always change the color if you want. Uh, so that's always handy. And so yeah. This other little preset right here is basically like a top, you know, banner bar right here uh, for when I just do some cool little banner bar right here. You can always do like multiple of them. So if you want to do like cool social media template and you like say if you're doing a YouTube banner, for example, and I have a cool banner, you know, top right here, like a cool border thing. I'll have multiple ones. I can keep on trying different ones instead of doing it over and over and over again. Uh, it's just really nice and handy. Uh, also, it's really ideal to keep the action, you know, perfect the first time. It's just, you know, it's more ideal just to have it correct the first time I have to fix things and find where you messed up uh, etc but anyways I'm just gonna tell you guys this when you're recording stuff and if you use the pen tool and you have a path let's say you just you know this is a pen tool and then this is when you connect it it's, it's a path now so let's say when you go back to the action and you press you know play or whatever and the path is still there and it's perfectly fine it's still there uh, it's you know it's really good to go it will not mess up or anything but if the path is not there Excuse me, it will not continue using the action. It'll say it'll stop itself like mid action and it'll be like, I cannot continue anymore. You know, you have to find this path or whatever. Uh, I believe it's the same if you save the path. I'm not really sure. I don't know how to really work with that. We can always just figure that out if you need to. Otherwise, just stay away from paths. It's not that hard. Also, brushes, I believe. Uh, when I used brushes my last time when I was messing around with it or whatever, it wasn't really cooperating with me. Uh, when I try to record it, it would not take action that I clicked with the brush and actually dragged it somewhere uh, so I don't really know about that maybe you can just maybe use like the pen tools like uh, when you would use the stroke path maybe that will work I'm not sure but anyways you want to google that you could otherwise just stay away from it if you don't need to use it you always just use alternates uh, I usually use my brush hit for like a uh, simple you know how you say uh, gradient you know blast or you know stroke or whatever and I, I, I can always just use the elliptical marquee tool to use it and gauge and blur to basically make that cool brush you know overall you know setting same thing uh, just always trying to find alternates if it doesn't work so anyways I'm gonna show you how to do the same exact thing I did before which is the ba uh, the basic YouTube banner backing uh, that's just what I'm gonna do again it's actually my current settings on how I do my current 2d banners for my clients or whatever so maybe this is kind of like two tour uh, two, tor two tutorials in one I can't talk so anyways if you know what the action bar is you simply just go to Windows actions or alt f9 or press this little play button here if you have the same toolbar as mine I'm not sure what Photoshop version this is, or not uh, what versions uh, actions are, but I know this action, uh, I have Photoshop CS6, so this is actions in Photoshop CS6. I really don't know what other Photoshop versions have actions in it. Uh, we can always just find out if you need to. Anyways, when you click on it, you see this little uh, group right here, uh, this little folder, you want to click on this, uh, add a new set. So this is basically like the new, this is the main folder, this is where every all the other actions you do afterwards will now be in this little folder. Uh, you can always save actions. Let's say you make a cool little action right here. You want to save and open it up for next time. This little drop down right here. Just save actions. Save wherever you want to save it. You open it back up. It'll open back up in your actions and you're all good to go. So anyways, when you're ready to start doing an action itself, you want to simply just click on this little new, uh, this new page right here. Click on it. It'll say name it. I'm just going to name it one. 
and then as soon as you press record from now on this little red dot will be on until you press stop so everything you do right now will be recorded so let's just uh, do what we're gonna do here so I'm gonna do the simple backing right here I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm press control backspace which is actually gonna fill my foreground color right here that's why you probably saw this say foreground color or background color and the first one is the foreground color so foreground color is alt backspace uh, that's just, uh, basically a paint fill in the whole entire layer itself that's a little cool little uh, shortcut for you guys and so now I'm gonna make a duplicate and press control J and I'm going to go to filter noise add noise it'll save the exact you know percentage that you use uh, click OK control and control E to merge and I'm going to make a new layer now and like I said I'm going to use the substitute from using the brush and now I'm going to use the uh, elliptical marquee tool make a nice circle I'm uh, just gonna hold shift to make it a perfect circle put it somewhere in the middle I believe it's all backspace now for the fill for the foreground color I'm gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur uh, radius 200 press OK I can change the blend mode now you see everything we've done so far is actually recorded uh, if I just click here soft light you saw it says uh, select current layer style and I want to load the opacity I don't really need to right now but I'm going to combine these two and then I'm going to load the opacity and you can see you have to click to get that you know it says select you know different you know it changed when I clicked here it'll change again it'll change again etc you can't click and drag I believe oh, you could but I you can't click like numbers it won't fix that you gotta always click on it and fix it itself for it to register uh, so you see me do that five times but anyways I fix itself so if I go back it'll actually just simply stay the same way it did just now uh, it just has multiple things I can go back and delete them if I want to but anyways I hope I didn't mess you up there but anyways I press stop now when I stop recording and if I delete this really quickly I want to go back I'm just gonna delete these right here because I don't need them because I was just me messing around I'm gonna go scroll back up click here press play and you'll see I did everything I'll do everything I did just now and I'll do the exact same way I did it and there you go you can see the opacity change and all it saved all of that information uh, so let's say you want to do some other cool things or whatever you can always do them save the action sell it you know sell your cool actions to product you know customers or your clients or whatever or just keep it to yourself and have your personal actions for all your personal things you need that you need you know done really fairly quickly but it's more tedious to do really cool way to do them or just have packs as, like as I have here uh, anyways if you guys haven't checked my 15k pack out that will be in the description below uh, if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter yet, it's at uh, 200 likes on this video equals the secret giveaway below. It will unlock a little cool little uh, link for you guys to download for a cool little giveaway when it hits 200 likes. So make sure you guys like the video, and or if you didn't hit it yet, come back to the video uh, later on, and maybe you'll see a nice little cool giveaway in the description below. And you, you will, and you'll be able to download it, have fun with it. It'll be something graphics related, or just use it. Maybe it'll be a sneak peek to some products, or you know maybe a sneak you know preview to a product that's already out, etc. It could be anything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed though. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed like three times. Just said that three times. Anyways, <laughs> see you. Uh, see you guys later. So check you out. Peace. Just totally choked my goddamn intro, outro. I can't even talk. Such a HQ.